Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and I have a massive collection of gold coins to show you today. This is like nothing I've ever showed on my channel before. Um, I can't be too specific about everything here, uh, just because it is uh, a very high dollar value uh, for these coins. Um, but I am just floored by the beauty and the the uh, the sheer quantity and value of these coins. Uh, so I'm very lucky to have gotten these in my possession. Um, but uh, you can see here, there's just tons and tons and tons. Some of these are silver, but most of these are gold coins. Um, so I bet you guys haven't seen this many gold coins in one of my videos or in any of the videos you've seen recently. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm gonna go through each of them one by one and uh, show you all of them. So the first one we're gonna look at is uh, this coin set, this silver coin set from France. Um, this is one of the few we're gonna look at now that is not does not contain any gold, but these are absolutely exquisite. I mean, I'm gonna you're gonna hear me say that a lot about these coins because these are all commemorative silver and gold coins that I'm gonna be showing you. Um, so they're these are all from 1974. Um, or sorry, these are all from the 1970s, I should say. This one is from 1974. The rest, I believe, are from 1979, and they're all of varying sizes. I mean, look at these. These are fantastic. Next up, we have actually, believe it or not, a Sudanese set of coins. Two silver and two gold. Democratic Republic of Sudan. Huh, well, that's an interesting one. So let's take a look. We've got one, two, three, four coins. Really nice, chunky, big silver. Summit meeting Khartoum. See that it's commemorating. And here are the gold ones. One gold and two gold. Now, I have to say, because these are all, this is a large investment, I'm not going to be keeping any of these. These are all for sale. Um, as you can imagine, I had to uh, invest a fair amount in this, uh, and uh, I don't want to keep any of these for my personal collection, and they are all for sale. Uh, so if you're interested, obviously, please send me a private message and uh, we'll work out prices and I can tell you more information about the exact weights and uh, uh, compositions of each coin. Um, also, I will not be breaking up any sets. The sets are sold together, so uh, just keep that in mind. Really beautiful. Very interesting. I mean, how many of you guys own a Sudanese coin, let alone four of a set of gold and silver Sudanese coins? So the third one we have, this is a massive set of British coins. Over here, I mean, look at this. These are all, you know, put in plastic, but whoever purchases these, of course, can remove them from the plastic and display them however they wish. You can see it has the classic uh, British and sort of the sovereign design or a version of that. These are all from 1976, and you can see their varying sizes. Um, I don't have the exact, uh, the exact um, weights. I don't have the exact weights on these, but these are all from the Isle of Man, as you can see. But, uh, you know, they range roughly from an ounce to a half ounce, quarter ounce, probably a tenth of an ounce. Um, but we'll get more into that later on. Here we have four coins from Cape Verde. Um, these are really, really nice. Um, they all have, of course, certificate of authenticity. This here is the gold. 2,500 escudos. Look at that. And here is the silver version, 250 escudos. And these, I believe, are, are uh, a bronze set of coins. They are also part of the set. 
fifty and a hundred. Two hundred and fifty and a hundred. But really, really nice. Here we've got another British minted coin, but this one is a gold coin from Macau. 1978. Now, I'll admit I don't know too much about these coins yet. 500 patakas. This is like the Grand Prix, I guess. Really beautiful. For any uh, automotive or racing enthusiasts and coin collectors, this is a perfect, perfect coin. And of course it has the Certificate of Authenticity, the ever-present Certificate of Authenticity. Now this here is one of my absolute favorites from the set. Um, I wish I could afford to keep this right now. That is how much I love this. This is gorgeous. This is from 1979. It is a European Union uh, medal. Um, you can see here, it's ECU from 1979, and it has various uh, countries' emblems uh, surrounding it. And you see... Europa. And you can see here it says the uh, composition and weight, 92%, 50 grams. That is massive. I mean, is that not a gorgeous coin right there? And over here we've got a Polish coin. Look at that beautiful gold. Look at that beautiful luster. This is flawless. This is a flawless, flawless coin. 500 Zlotis, 1976. And, of course, a Certificate of Authenticity. And we've got another gold coin from Poland. This is 2000 Zlotis from 1980. This one is a Olympic commemorative. Look at that. For you skiing enthusiasts, I mean, look at that. Very cool, modern, artistic style. Very cool. And another British minted set. These are from Senegal in Africa. This is a really nice set of four coins, very similar to the one we just looked at from the Isle of Man. I believe they're all the same weights, same company minted them. Really beautiful, look at that, 1975. I mean, again, how many of you guys have coins from Senegal? Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of the really hardcore collectors out there have some stuff, but these are really uncommon. Not typical things that you find. Now here, this is one of the most interesting ones that I have. Also a, an Olympic uh, skiing, um, this is a skiing uh, Lake Placid 1980 Olympics coin uh, from China. And this is a particularly rare coin, I know that. Um, this is going to be really interesting to see who purchases this, and uh, this is a very, very interesting coin. Um, also beautiful in immaculate shape. And I guess as silver picker, it's time to get back to some silver. Here we have a commemorative coin, 200 florins from um, Hungary. Uh, this is 1980, and also commemorating the Olympic Games. Uh, this is 64% silver, and uh, it weighs 16 grams. Really, really nice. It's interesting when you have the lower percentage of silver because the toning ends up being um, influenced by that. So you see some really nice toning on the edges here. And while we're on the subject of silver, I figure this is a very toned one, but it's really, really nice. Uh, this is a commemorative Canadian silver dollar, and you can see here it's from 1958, 1858 to 1958, British Columbia. Um, really cool design, really interesting toning. Um, not like the most beautiful rainbow toning, but there is some rainbow in there, and it is really, really and nice. And many of you guys have seen me have coins like this before. Uh, this is another Israeli uh, commemorative. This is from 1969. Uh, the ones that I had before, I believe, were a little bit later date. Um, 
but this is very cool. 1969 uh, Shalom 21st Independence Day commemoration coin, commemorative coin. And of course it has the proof card, the information, uh, and certificate of authenticity. And here we have four gold coins from Turkey. Um, I mean, look at this, the mirror finish on these are so unbelievable, it's almost hard to tell that they're gold. Um, but certainly I can tell you from holding them and seeing them that they are indeed gold. Um, these are four Turkish coins. The top two are from, they commemorate uh, the Food and Agriculture Organization, uh, FAO, quote unquote. Um, these are really, really nice. Thousand lira and 500 lira. And then down here, these are the more uh, standard uh, Turkish coins, 1978 as well, and the 1,000 lira, and the 500 lira. Now it's interesting, I actually like the fronts of the uh, FAO coins better, but I like the backs, the obverse of these better, and the reverse of these better. Too bad you can't combine them, right? Um, but anyway, these I would sell individually, um, so just uh, keep that in mind. This is a very cool coin. This is an Egyptian uh, commemorative coin, uh, also silver. Um, I haven't done all that much research on this one yet either, um, but uh, I'll give you some more information. If you're curious about it, you're welcome to send me a message or comment, and uh, by then I will have more info for you. Um, but this is really, really cool, really beautiful design. Now, for all you history buffs, this silver coin is really interesting. This is the tribute to, Tr uh, to Truman, um, and you can see here, really cool lettering, really cool design. And on the reverse, it says, on the 25th year of the founding of the State of Israel, the Judaic Heritage Society honors Harry S. Truman for his historic service to the Jewish people. Uh, so a really interesting piece of history for those of you who are interested. Um, really cool. I love the lettering of Truman over there, and uh, it's just a really well-designed coin. And because this video has been all about gold, why not add our final gold coin? This is the Republic of Panama 100 Balboa gold coin, 1978. Um, really nice flowers. You can see they almost jump right off the coin. And on the back, uh, you have the, the classic shield, um, or crest, I should say, uh, and it does have the fineness of the gold, 900 out of 1,000, so 90% fine gold. Um, really, really nice. You can see it's minted by the Franklin Mint, uh, contracted out to them. Um, and that's it. So basically, I've showed you this whole array of coins. Uh, again, I'm sorry that I can't give you more information about how I got them or who I got them from or um, anything like that or how much I paid, but I really wanted to share these with you nonetheless, um, and uh, I really think that this is a unbelievable haul. Uh, I don't think there are too many hauls like this on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen anything like this. I'm sorry for how long the video was, and uh, I'm sorry that it's really more just a sort of an advertisement this video. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the coins at least. And those of you that are interested in purchasing them, uh, I'm excited because I think you will enjoy them. And uh, this will certainly be each a unique uh, addition to any collection uh, or investment stack. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know the usual. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Click the links down below and uh, send me a message if you're interested. Anyway, until next time, I hope you bring you to bring you lots more Silver Picker out.